Now begin stage 3, the sun. The first phase uses parts supplied with issues 19, 20 and 21. To fit many of the parts, you'll need to turn the model upside down or on its side. Therefore, start by temporarily removing all loose parts, the 161 tooth moon gear, the moon and the moon axis and wheel. Position the central column support collar underneath the large hole in the earth arm with the countersunk screw socket on the underside. Push the collar through the hole and check the top of the collar is flush with the top surface of the earth arm. Secure the collar with three KM 2.5 screws in the three threaded sockets in the earth arm. Place the 102 tooth gear over the underside of the central column support collar with its countersunk screw sockets on the underside. Secure this gear using 3 KM 2.5 screws in the three threaded sockets in the collar. Press one 19mm steel bearing into the socket in the top of the central column support collar. Press the second 19mm steel bearing into the socket in the bottom of this collar. The second phase of stage 3 adds the central column and shaft supplied with issues 22, 23 and 24. Remove the short temporary plastic feet from the underside of the earth arm and replace the end two with the new larger feet. Slide the central column through the central column support collar and through the large plastic washer and large brass washer. Ensure that the two pre-fitted 8mm steel bearings remain in the central column at the top and bottom. Slide the central column support onto the base of the central column, making sure that the wide flange is at the base and flush with the bottom of the column and bearing. Secure the support with one large M4G grub screw using a 2mm Allen key. Slide the central shaft through the central column, ensuring the blade end of the shaft is at the bottom. The model can now stand on the two large feet and on the base of the central column support. Push the sun firmly onto the top of the central shaft. This is only a temporary fixture, however, as you'll need to remove the sun again before continuing the assembly. The third phase of stage 3 adds parts supplied with issues 25, 26 and 27. Secure the 91 tooth gear to the large brass collar using 3 KM 2.5 countersunk screws. Slide the large plastic washer down the central shaft and over the central column so it sits flat on the top of the 19mm steel bearing in the earth arm. Slide the assembled 91 tooth gear and large brass collar down the central shaft and over the central column so that it sits on the large plastic washer. The 91 tooth gear should also mesh with the 91 tooth gear fitted at stage 2, phase 5. Secure the large brass collar to the central column using an M3G grub screw. Tighten the grub screw with a 1.5mm Allen key. Secure the 160 tooth gear to the small brass collar using 3 KM 2.5 countersunk screws. Lift up the model and allow the central shaft to drop down so that its top is below both chain sprockets. Then position the assembled 160 tooth gear and slide the central shaft up through its collar. Lower the model back down again and secure the 160 tooth gear with a grub screw. This 160 tooth gear should also mesh with the 22 tooth gear fitted at stage 2, phase 6. Stage 3 is now complete.